All right, good afternoon, Sunday, January 3rd, 2016. I'd like to dedicate this little movie to our buddy KI6UCN, Hart. Hey, go study for your general license, man. So what we've got here, this little thing, this is a Hartley oscillator, hence our little dedication there. And uh, I slapped that thing together. We'll show you the guts in a minute. Um, but what that does is it makes RF. Go over here to the, let me zoom out. Can I zoom out? Got an HF rig and a pan adapter. Oops, that's a little unsmooth there. Hey, we can fit it all in one frame. Check that out. All right. So let me turn the volume up. You can hear this thing. It's making RF as you can see with the scope back there but it's extremely unstable watch what happens to the pan adapter when I, and the sound when I bring my hand next to the coil there you see a little coil in the back of the doodad uh oh there we go. So, it's extremely unstable. Extremely unstable. Where'd my Sharpie go? I lost my Sharpie. Watch what happens. Let's zoom in to the pan adapter. I'm going to go up and I'm going to just tap the coil of the Hartley oscillator with my Sharpie. because it's a spring. Let's do that again. You see exactly what I do. That sounds pretty cool. Let's do it one more time with a little more volume. Put it on AM mode. That's some neat stuff. Okay, so let's dig into this little thing a little bit more. Let me move my camera a little bit. All right. No, oh, I want to be zoomed out. There we go. Okay, so let's have a little look at this thing. I'm going to power it off. That's the power, and this is just the scope attachment. So, what we have in here is, let me get my Sharpie again. We have a parallel resonant circuit with that coil and that capacitor. And then this thing right here is just a little junction field effect transistor. This is our amplification part of our oscillator. Now, what makes this a Hartley I don't know if you can see this, but with our parallel resonant circuit, there is a tap toward the bottom of the coil. As long as there is a tap in the coil that leads back to the kind of the input, in this case it's the gate of our active device, that defines a Hartley oscillator. Named after a guy named Ralph Hartley. He invented it back in 1915 while working for Western Electric. He was working on the... Uh, you know, the whole thing about trying to talk across the Atlantic with radio. And this is how this came about. It's used in lots of things. It's really neat stuff. But what I'm doing here is, this is actually, this circuit's out of an old uh, QST article, I think from 2006. This is kind of the basics of a VFO. And this is kind of like how not to build a VFO. We saw how unstable it was. You know, just just pounding on the table will set that thing doing crazy things uh, frequency wise. So it's a toy, but it's kind of neat. But it's an oscillator. It makes RF out of like nothing. So that's cool. Actually, not really nothing, but I like saying that. 